We're going to talk about how to identify frogs. Um, there are approximately 45 to 5,000 different species of frog, and so that is a tremendous amount. And so uh, frogs and toads are kind of blanketed under the, the term frog, uh, but they do vary just a little bit. Uh, identification charts, this one happens to be frogs and toads of Tennessee, but those types of charts are available uh, through some state parks that can help you identify frogs and toads. Um, also there are lots of field guides that are uh, available too, um, some that combine reptiles and amphibians together, uh, frogs being amphibians. Um, the, another place that you can find would be the internet, sometimes searching an internet uh, source for patterns and things like that of the skin or patterns behind the eyes are very important sometimes on identifying some of these guys. Also identifying them um, comes into play their chirp or their vocalization and so that can identify the type of frog or toad as well. These guys are wild species, and so you want to leave them alone. You do not want to handle them. Uh, the best thing you can do for them is to take a picture and then leave them in their environment. In most states, it's illegal to grab one of these things and bring it home and keep it as a pet. Uh, so it's just important to know that. So uh, anyway, there are lots of sources to identify frogs and toads, and there are many, many species of them. And so sometimes it can be quite difficult, especially um, if they are a young version of that species.